Hey guys, welcome to the 196th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, uh, we're going to use our reader and writer class and make sure that they work. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure that you have a button on your form, and then once it's there, just go ahead and double click on it. Alright, and then we're going to want to create a using statement for the namespace that our reader and writer class are in. And they're in the Adams I.O. namespace. You probably named yours something different. So we're just going to say using and then that namespace. And mine is Adams I.O. Alright, and now we're just going to create an open file dialog so that we can browse for the file that we want to write in. So we're going to say open file dialog, OFD equals the new open file dialog. And we're just going to check to see if the user actually did um, select a file in their open file dialog. And if they do, then we're going to open a new writer and we're going to write inside of that file. So we're going to say writer, w for writer equals a new writer. And then inside of the writer's constructor, we have two options. We can either pass through just the path to the file and then the endian type will defaultly be big endian. Or we can pass through the path and the byte order. So if we wanted to make the byte order big endian and little endian, we could explicitly tell it to. But I'm just going to make it be big endian, so I'm not going to uh, tell it to be big endian, since it'll defaultly be big endian anyways. Alright, so we're just going to have uh, create a new writer off the file that the user opens. So we're going to say OFD.FileName. And then we're just going to want to write um, a string right at the beginning of the file. So we're just going to write Adam right across there. Alright, so we're just going to say w dot write Unicode string and then we're just going to run a write Adam. And since we're writing Adam at the beginning of the file um, at the offset 0, 0, um, that just means that we don't have to specify a position since the default position is 0 anyways. And then after it writes this, we're just going to go ahead and close the writer so that if someone wanted to uh, they could access this file after it's done writing. Alright, so let's go ahead and debug here. Click this button, browse for that untitled file on my desktop. Click open and it should have written Adam right across the file. Yep, it wrote Adam in a Unicode string. As you can see, each character takes up two bytes. And it's big ND in Unicode because we can see right here, um, just A is, would be 41 and it goes 0, 0 and then 41. So it's big ND in Unicode. Alright, but what if we wanted to write little endian in Unicode? We could use the um, uh, change byte order method to change the byte order to little endian so it'll write little endian now. So we're going to set the byte order to little endian and then we're going to want to change the position to um, uh, oops, we're going to want to change the position to 0x10 um, so it'll begin writing right here instead. So we're just going to say w dot position equals 0x10 and 0x10 is just right here as you can see offset 10. Alright, so let's just go ahead and make sure that this works as well. Let's choose our untitled file, go back to hxd and we see, yep, it wrote Adam in little ND in Unicode. Alright, now let's just test one more thing and make sure that it writes integers correctly. And we're actually going to have it write it in big endian, so we're going to delete this. And we're going to have it write it at the position um, 2, 0. So we're going to change the position to 2, 0 right here. We're just going to say w dot write, and then we're just going to want to write an int 32. And we're just going to have it write 0x, ff, fe, um, fd, and then fc. And that's actually a uint, so we're going to have to say uint there. Okay. Now it should work properly. Alright, so let's just make sure that this works here. Open our untitled file, click open, go back to hxd, and yep, as you can see, it wrote ff, fe, fd, and fc. And you can tell it's big endian because it wrote it in the same order as we told it to write it. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. As you can see, both our reader and writer class work perfectly. So, see you guys.